Welcome to another video featuring the ET Vision wearable eye tracker from Argus Science. This video will highlight the added ability to define a coordinate frame for each live area of interest or LAOI. Building upon our previously released LAOI capability, we have now allowed the researcher to define a coordinate frame which may be defined in metric units, imperial units, or even pixels if the LAOI defines a device screen. Let's take a look at how this may be done in ET Vision. Directing the scene camera towards the object we wish to define the LAOI to, we freeze the scene image when entering LAOI configuration. We are now presented a dialog which along with previous items, including name, new, delete, finish, and associate, now has LAI coordinate frame, finish as screen, and set SSC mapping points. Creation of an LAOI starts as before by giving the LAOI a name, and then defining the vertices on the scene image. In this case, we'll use our laptop screen. We then may choose to finish as a screen or finish. The finish option uses all contrast points within the area boundary to track LAOI position, while the finish as a screen uses a narrow band on either side of the area boundaries to track LAOI position. The track as screen is used when the screen being presented changes content to allow more robust robust tracking of the LAOI. Here we will choose the finish button. We'll then pull down the coordinate system and choose to define point zero through three. We will define this coordinate frame in pixels, which in this case is 1920 by 1080. Point zero is in the upper left corner. Point one is upper right. Point two is lower right. Point three is lower left in this example. And we put in the corresponding coordinate frame 00, 1920, 0, 1920, 1080, and 0, 1080. Once we've done that, we can close the dialog and see how the object tracks. We can see our LAOI is moving with our screen. And we can see our gaze point with the green circle showing where we're looking relative to that screen. Let's go back and create that same LAOI as a screen. In this case, we'll just delete the previous LAOI that we just created and redefine the vertice positions and re-enter the coordinate frame, still at 1920 by 1080. We just need to enter those values back in, 00, zero being 0, 0.0, 1920, 0 being 0 0.1, 1920, 1080 being 0.2, and 0, 1080 being 0.3. In this case, we can use either approach because the screen content is really not changing as we're looking at it. But imagine if you're looking at a video or images moving and changing. Uh, we prefer to use the finish as a screen in that case. The last thing we can do is we can create an associate uh, LAOI. And this is used when we have small objects that we want to track on the screen. They may not have enough contrast points to track as its own object. So in this case, we'll create the system control panel LAOI. It'll be a different color. And we define the four vertices here. Remember, we're not limited to four vertices. We can use as many as we want. And we'll just associate that to the laptop. So once we've done that, the green LAOI, which defines the system control panel, will follow with the laptop screen that is being tracked. Let's record some data and take a look at what the final output looks like real quickly. So we go ahead and open a file. 
<coughs> and we'll record uh, our CSV file and our video files. And we'll just look around at the screen, look at the upper right, look at the lower right, lower left. Um, there's this control panel a little bit, upper left, and we'll stop our recording. Real quick recording, and we'll go into ET analysis now. We'll just do a quick project here and load our file that we just recorded. See our video.csv file as a video we just recorded. Here we have um, our new data items. You're going to see a gaze LAOI, and you're going to see a horizontal and vertical LAOI gaze coordinate. This is in that 1920 by 1080 coordinate frame that we defined before. This is different than the regular gaze, which is referenced to our scene camera which is moving all the time. So it's not relative to an object, it's relative to your moving scene camera. That's the power of this. And we can go through and we can see how the gaze point is changing and we're going from LAOI gaze one to gaze three, <coughs> meaning the definition of the AOI. That's because LAOI one is the laptop, LAOI two is the system control panel. And when we're looking at both, it combines it and says we're looking at three. And here we could just do a quick time plot to look at what the raw data of the horizontal and vertical gaze coordinate relative to the LAOI looks like. So we'll go ahead and do the horizontal and vertical gaze coordinate. We can see that you know, we move to the left, we move to the right, and you can see how the horizontal is moving in one direction, the vertical is moving in that direction. We'll just normalize this a little bit and just put the maximum at 2,000 with the minimum at zero, just for both of them to get a sense of better sense of scale. And we can display that. There's lots more analysis we can do here. We'll take a look at that really in our next video. We want to be able to add fixation calculations and fixation visualizations, and we'll cover that in our next video, live fixation calculation and visualizations. Thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact us on our website.